Crafty Stella is back, and I'm here with a card that I want to do and share with you all, and it's called Christmas in July, and this is the diagram that I'm going to use, the same effect that I'm, I use here, using the Blue Bird Proposal Gorgeous Girl stamp. Isn't she cute? And I'm going to be making the same card, and I'm calling it Christmas in July. Okay, this is the image right here, and I'm going to color her own video, so if y'all would bear with me, it won't take too long. And I'm going to be using my Distress ink to color her, and first I'm just going to start with her hair using my black suet ink. Okay. And my watercolor brush. Love these brushes. So I'm just starting with her hair first. Getting her hair out the way. So yes. And if I go out if I go outside the line with coloring her hair and everything now just um I'm gonna cut her out anyway so it doesn't matter okay getting her hair color in first I always go kind of light then I go back in and highlight the darkness of it like the lines in here and just like I said if I go outside the line I will be cutting her out anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, we got her hair in. Now I'm gonna start with her dress, and I will be using for her dress. Wipe the ink off of this block. I will be using one lipstick, and I just put a little on the end of my right there I love using different uh, color coloring method so now I'm gonna start with her dress and go in kind of light and this image is so small so it doesn't take much to color her up because she is very small and so cute. Glad to use her in my video. Okay. I get this a little bit in between here. And the paper, when you're using your wall of color brush, the paper be kind of wet. So I wait till one area dry before I start on the other one. So I'm doing her socks right now. Then next I will be doing the little log that she's sitting on. Then I will be doing the, um, the little, two little birds just sitting by her. This image is so gorgeous. Just as the name, gorgeous. Beautiful image. Love it. Okay. So, I'm going to let that dry. Now, I'm going to start with her coloring her skin. And I'm going to be using Vintage Photo. So, I'll just stamp this at the end here. And we're going to start on her skin. Okay. Wipe my brush off. And start with picking up some of this hair and go lighter because I don't want it too light on here. And there. Okay, wipe the brush off and go in on her arms. Go back in. And right there. 
and I love the way that this stress ink color is just gorgeous. Going on her arm right here. Going on her legs. Giving it some color. Right there. And you just wipe the breast, drying it up, and kind of soaking up what you already got down here. And go in like that. Now. I'm going to do some highlights to her dress. I'm going to go back in since it done dried out a little bit and do some, some highlights in her dress like under her arm. I want that highlighted and round up in here. Do some highlights to her dress. Okay. And I'm also put a little couple of highlights in her socks. There. I love the way this distress ink color. Now I got that out the way. Now we're gonna start with this squeeze lemonade, and I'm gonna do the bird in that color and and those flowers there. Okay, and picking up some yellow, and I'm coloring in the flowers. Okay, just coloring in the flowers and the little birds. Ah, cute little birdie. So I'm coloring them in. And so while this is drying, I'm going to, before I cut her out, I'm going to start doing the card. But first, I'm going to go ahead on and do the log. Color it in. in. Different spots. So all of my color coloring is basically using my Distress Ink. And I love the way they color. Love it. The way it comes out. You just live in it. Okay. And go back with the yellow and color her little piece in there. Now, I'm going to let this image sit to the side and dry. So while that is drying, I'm going to take this card base right here. And I'm going to stamp my tree. Here. And this is uh, this tree is called Winter Woods. Love this hair. So I'm gonna stamp it on my paper using my Memento Tuxedo Black ink here. So trying to get this image stamped in real good. Now I'm going to stamp it like right here in the center. Okay, I got that in. Okay. Now, I'm going to start with putting down like <coughs> using my blue broken channel. Okay, I'm going to stamp my block right there. And I'm going to make me some, the background some cloud or sky. Okay, water my block up and 
I want it watered down real good so I can perform my background and my clouds back here. So this is like clouds behind the trees. Trying to get me some winter look here. Okay. So this will be my clouds right up in here. I don't want to bring it down too far. I just want it to be up a little bit. Okay. Now I have got that done. Now I'm about to do my the ground part around the trees there. I want to do it in the Brook Vintage Photo here. Still using this is the stress ink with all my coloring. So this is going to be the the ground the trees right up in here. Just my little ground parts right there. I probably brand out some. So Coming out, turning out beautiful. I'm not done yet. So I'm wiping my acrylic block. So now, I'm going to use my handy dandy heat gun to kind of dry it out. Do it so the video won't be so long. So I'm going to dry it a little bit. Let's keep the video from being so long. So don't dry it out. I like dry mine from the bottom to the top so the paper will lean back out. Right. Got that kind of dry. No, we just shake my paper back out. Okay. Now, I want to, on this gorgeous girl stamp, I want to stamp this little squirrel here. So, what I'm going to do with my, um, with my Stay Zone brown ink. I'm just going to stamp like just one side of it and it will be just the squirrel. I just want the squirrel so I'll be just snapping this side of it and put it in the frame. So Remember I just want the squirrel not the little girl so Now, if I get a little part of the girl, I'm going to wipe it off because I don't want that one in there. So, now, I'm going to take the little squirrel here, and I want to stamp him probably right there. Okay. Miss him with his leaf. Now, <coughs> I'm going to take... Some more of this broken channel here. Just put just a little bit on on the little corner of it, cause you don't need much right now. And so you wanna just dab a little water down. Let me get in the frame so you can see. So I can do my little squirrel up, color him up real neat. Okay. Okay, getting him colored in to blend in with the picture. Okay, got that. Okay, and that little leaf he holding in his hand, I want to do that. With this using the peel paint. So 
I'm just going to dip that on my breast because it's just a little leaf. So I don't need much on there. So just to get that little leaf color in. Now I've got all of that done. I have my sky, which is looking lovely. You'll see here. Now I'm going to cut my image out. So it won't take long. I'm getting out the frame so I can cut my image out right quick. And we're going to adhere her down inside there. And we'll be ready. Okay, I'm just cutting my image out. I'm almost done. Sorry. Sorry about the wait. I just wanted to show y'all how I put this little card, Christmas and July card together right quick. Maybe you want to use the same image and try it yourself and do a Christmas in July card. So that's why I want to share it with you all. Okay, I'm done with my image, and this is the image right here. And she's gonna sit like right here, right here by the log. Let her sitting right there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my little adhesive right here, and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back. Just to put her down this much. Okay. So we're going to put her right here. Right beneath the trees. Okay. Got her down. So now. I'm going to show you how I get the little snow. Snowy effect right there. And I'm going to use that. Using my. Puffy paint. Okay. Shake it and I'm just going to take it and do my little swirl, different little paws on the trees. And then I probably put a little on the squirrel in little different places and beneath the ground, just little dark blocks of snow. And <clears throat> I'll have to let it dry, then I'll have like put a little bit on her hair like it's snowing and around her like that. And prop a little bit on the log and a little bit on the birds just snowy effect and prop a little bit on her socks and just a little bit like dipping dapping out of the trees just cute little snow effect and This is it right here. So I would intend to uh, adhere this down to here before I put the snow on now, but I probably still can do it just putting this spots of glue. But I'm use uh, one of my brown pieces. I already got it pre-cut, and I'm just gonna put glue in little spots, not all over, just to get it stuck down. So. I'm gonna adhere this to set this to the side and I'm gonna adhere this card base to the glue. Right, let me see, get it sit right right there. Then I'm gonna put just a little bit of tape strip in the different spots right here. So be right there so I will be putting her down on the top of here okay mashing down the spot that I didn't put the glue on 
and it turned out to be a beautiful card. And the blue background represents like the clouds and stuff like that. So that's why I used that. But this is the Christmas in July card. Turn around this way. Hope you like it and enjoyed the video. Christmas in July. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe if you like my video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.